This is the Animal Investigations Unit, and um, everybody I talk to on the air and on the street always tells me how much they love little Rico. Well, Rico and I have an important message for you tonight. Uh, we need to save one of Rico's cousins, the American icon called the Gray Wolf. For more than 30 years, with the U.S. government's help, wolves made a dramatic comeback. Once present throughout the majority of the United States, by 1945, these majestic animals were hunted to near extinction in the lower 48. In the 1970s, wolves were placed under the protection of the Endangered Species Act. And in the 1990s, they were reintroduced to Yellowstone National Park and parts of Idaho. But in April of 2011, wolves were taken off that list by the federal government. And since then, 1,500 wolves have been killed in hunts across the United States. Some say um, we're playing politics with an entire species. For all practical terms, this is a, a genocide, an operation that's being driven by politics. Straight out to Brooks Fahey, the executive director of Predator Defense, here to talk about uh, his important new film, The Imperiled American Wolf, why? Cut to the chase. We only have a couple of seconds. Why uh, are wolves being gunned down in various states across the country? Uh, well, Jane, it's, it's a complex issue, but it's really also pretty simple. Why, state wildlife management agencies are basically funded by hunters, and hunters see wolves as a threat to the animals that they're hunting. So there's this competition and the fact that these agencies are almost 100% funded through hunting revenue shows where this conflict is. Uh, these agencies are basically supposed to manage species with the best available science. But in the case with the gray wolf, throughout Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, and Minnesota, and Wisconsin, it's basically they're being managed totally by politics. And it, it's a tragedy. Uh, right now, as I speak to you, 25% of the Yellowstone wolf population has been killed uh, just by venturing outside the park on Wyoming and the Montana side. And out of those 25%, eight of those animals have been wearing radio telemetry collars. These were animals that were used in long-term research. That research has now been destroyed. And again, the American public is pretty much unaware what state wildlife agencies are all about really about supplying animals for people to kill. Get involved. These wolves can't speak for themselves. Go to predatordefense.org. They need your help. They're being wiped out.